Show you a real good shot of what I was telling you about with this uh, Gorilla Glue hot glue gun. Those terminals are completely covered and sealed now. They'll never see any kind of salt water corrosion at all. Uh, you know, once again, man, I'm just trying to put it out there so you guys will know. Guys that know me from back when I first started this. Look here, and now I got a tight team to go along with it. We are the ones to get with, with everything kayak, and especially with everything with your electronics, wiring, and especially live scope kayak. Just, just, you know, save yourself the hassle and the trouble of going back and forth, not having the right thing, not knowing what to do and just get at us, you know. Time is limited, because I'm trying to get on that water at all times. But this is what a professional job looks like, man. You know, everything is sealed, and everything is ready to go. These wires will sit here on the top, they're all sealed. They're inside my hull here. Okay, guys, the install of the new battery system is totally complete. They're all in the hole, sturdy. All of these wires are sealed. I have four 16 amp hour lithium batteries, man, to run this live scope and all my lighting. All my remote is right here. Uh, everything's working on the remote. My stern light, my bow lights, my cockpit lights, and of course my live scope system. The monitors here and the live scope on one. So I'm going to turn everything off. And uh, that's it, guys. I'll get back with y'all on the water. Good morning, guys. Welcome to another episode of Hooked Up Fishing, man. Uh, Frazier's already in the water and moving. Uh, and I'm just putting in Givens Creek Reservoir, man. New ACC 10-foot crappie stick. I'll be using today, brand new. Of course, I'll try to have this camera, see if it'll point right at live scope, and uh, use it, you know, to let you guys see what's happening. While, uh, you know, I'm jigging with this uh, live scope system. And uh, I have another camera behind me where I just showed you. And I have a, uh, the ability to turn both of them on at the same time with my remote and let you guys watch the footage there and behind me all at the same time while I'm trying to get on the fish. So this this is where this camera will be stationed. I'll go in the box and get my other camera out of here. I got three cameras with me but I think all I need is two. I also got a head cam with me. Go to work now. Playtime's over. It'll be my first time out here with this 10-footer, a 10-footer. Probably my first time using a 10-footer, except when I used to surf fish. I'm over here lining this thing up, man. That's me, Mr. Perfectionist. All right. See if I like the feel of it with a jig. Probably not, but I'll see. It's a little heavy. I'm going to go like this this morning, and like this this morning. One with a silver head, one with an all white head, a little chartreuse in the tail. That's how I'm going this morning. I'm going to go tandem. I'm going to put a smallest swivel you can find, a 10 in between them, and I'll show you I'll run them in tandem. That's one thing you'll learn hanging out with me. Both cameras. This one showed it. Show the people what we're looking at. Yeah. Let me see what my G. Oh, there they go. I see the crop. There they go. I'm dropping the jig right up over. I got the bottom jig right in there in the school. I'm gonna let. Oh, he he came up to it. Let the top jig down in there. They're going to hit the top jig. 
Look at that ball of bait coming by, y'all. Raise it hooked up. God, uh, Raise it just on one, just lost it. See them jigs coming down slow right here? Uh, that's my jig. Fish coming up to it. Crazy hook up. I didn't see his fish normally. It's a good keeper. Here. I know. That's what I'm telling you, the minnow. I'm sitting there looking at them, looking at the G. They look big on the screen, but see my jigs, I'm letting them down. See my jigs, I'm jigging them. That's one looking at it. I'm gonna let it down. Let it down. Let it down. I'm getting in there. Okay, one looking at it. There he is, just like that, y'all. Here goes Slab. Look at him. <laughs> man, hold up. This, this ain't gonna be right, man. That was nice. Nice, nice, nice. Bag back up. Bag back up. Right in that little transition. And I go from 10 foot to about the drop off. See all those fish right there? All those fish are hanging around 10, 12 foot deep right there. Lit up on the screen. Y'all saw that. I went to two micro jigs and now my bottom jig is producing. When I had that heavier jig on there, they didn't want to touch it. So all of that is making a difference this morning. I got it on the head cam getting that footage. Oh, two. Oh! Lord, that's what's down there deep. What? I went down to the bottom and seen three or four of them come. It's him. <laughs> Funky Mr. Whiskers, man. God, uh, I thought it was crap. I was excited. Can't yeah, well, I know now because it was about three or four of them running to it. Yeah, Got them. Sitting on swingers, super pokers. Get your funny looking crusty dusty. Can't be trusted behind on up out of here, man. Jumped on it though, that's one good thing.
I mean, I'm dropping it right on top of them jokers. Good with when that part. When you get good with that other stuff, see, for one thing, you got your ground too high. See that? So get your ground. What, what? Oh, yeah. That I ain't, I ain't mess with it. No, no. Depth range on the right side. Depth range. Oh. Shrink, shrink it back down. Shrink it back down. No, not that one. On the right side. Over here. Oh, yeah. Depth. No, I'm, I know. I'm finna do it. Yeah, don't put it. You can't see it. It's either there or there. Yeah, but That's you good. Can sweat. Now you That's sweat good. and then bring it up to you. Move it to where you want to see that breast part. That way you can start learning how to get accurate with that thing. I'm dropping all between limbs and everything going down there and getting some. Why that Hicks thing came on the screen? Gotta just, go back. Just press back. Because if you tap the screen, it that's do marking that. the waypoint. That, that's a quick way to mark a press pop. Oh, I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha. you. If you see it on the screen, just touch it. And then, and then you got the waypoint button at the top. And all you do is put it under. Now I really see it good, you're right. Here you come. Oh, she. Yeah, you're right. Lord have mercy. He tried to break the back on that fray. Oh, You're running. Oh, that's a good bag. Oh, that's a black bag. A black bear. I'm gonna play with it. I just feel like playing. <laughs> he got the footage right here. I just, oh, know. I can see it on the screen. Yeah. This fish running. I just want to play with it with that 12 footer. This is my 12 footer, ladies and gentlemen, that I cut. Really put the butt on there and I got a fish on it. See what I'm doing? This is how we do it out here. This is the hard hit of fishing team. The first lieutenant right here. You know what I'm talking about? Look at this. I got a fish on here. And I'm just playing with it. Big black bass. Let me go and get him in here, man. Got my new ACC crappie stick reels. You like y'all like that? Y'all like this it right here? She <laughs> <laughs> own it. I mean yeah, fat man. black bass too. I don't want this garbage. You want it? Heck no. Oh, he eat it. I just don't. I don't. I don't, I don't, keep, I don't keep no black bear. Also, I mean, I gave what you call a woman. Yeah, them good. Yeah, they are good. Yeah, they are good. Yeah, they good. Yeah, they good. Yeah, they good. Yeah, they good. Before I could turn it, you already said they was already on it. I'm going to start lowering it down. Not let it fall so fast. Beautiful fish there, boy. They pretty, they eat better and everything.
Why don't you extend it? It is extended. How does it go? Oh yeah, you gotta do something I different. Hold on that plug down there, man. I'm having all kinds of technical difficulties. Oh yeah, that's 13 inch fish, easy. That's what my mom wanted all the time. Yeah, Bait crap. That's all about her when I ate it last night. But I put that glaze on the dough. She said it's so good, all she needed is slap your mama. Yeah. Good fish. Good fish, that's what that is. Twelve foot of doing the work. Busting them. Just like that. Big crab. We ain't gonna be out here long, man. Nah, if, not if the feed ain't even started and they're doing this. Nah, it's just ramping up now. It started at 11. That's why I be saying, man. I ain't going up on feed. But I know when that feed hate, they start, they do start getting active. Yeah. You tell. They gonna start moving around. And it's cool out here too. He come. Yeah, them brim. You see that? Huh? Look, look at this tree on my down skin. On the other screen. Coming up. I brought that jig up, they came up, they looking at it. Yeah. What time is it? I'm, I'm already working. You see, I'm working just what you were talking about. I'm already working that. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing that you can fish two sides and then get in the middle. Yeah. They short and squatty, all head, no body. Alright, though. I'm sticking it. I'm, he might not be. He's short and fat. Yeah, man. Yeah, when they thick, this one's gonna be short. This one's gonna be short and thick. Now, that's all your 10 inch fish. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta keep them 10 inches because it's a hard day. He just enough over. He just enough over there. He ain't gonna shrink that fast. I ain't. I ain't gonna have him in ice that long. 
the other day in the hole. I'm looking at them, watching my jig, all of that. I got the concept down. They just wasn't hitting that jig like, like wildfire, but you know, that's why I waited till sometime at the end of the day. Yeah, it look ugly too, boy. It's got dark. I'm steady. I'm, I'm, I'm getting it. I'm getting them. I'm, I'm dropping right in there, pulling them out of there. I just got another one, back to back to back. I'm. No, nah, he wasn't no keeper. I didn't even look at him. He was, he was skinny.